it's another day, another vlog. I actually wasn't going to vlog today, but it's gonna be a really exciting day. If you guys are new here, what's up? My name's Ruby, I live in New York City, as you can probably hear and tell, but this is my lifestyle channel, so if you like me to see, be sure to click that subscribe button. Also, follow me on all of the other places, including TikTok, I post on there daily. But anyways, yes, we're gonna do a little daily vlog. It is gonna be packed full, very exciting. I have a super exciting event that I'm going to this evening and I get to bring along my sister which will be really fun. For now though, first things first, we're gonna do a solid core class. It's about 6.45 in the morning. Class starts at seven o'clock, so we're getting there just a little early. But yeah, here we go. I'm ready to break in a sweat and then take a much needed shower. As you can tell from my hair, we really need to do that. It looks like I'm going into the subway, but I'm not. I'm actually just going to pick up some paella with my favorite app, Meal Pal. They gifted me some free meals for the month, so I'm taking advantage of it. They're seriously so great, and their team is so kind. I know that I have a code with them, so I'll pop it on the screen here, but I'll also talk like more about the app as soon as I get home and it's not as loud. Got home, got my paella. Now some of you guys might have heard me talk about Meal Pal a couple months ago when they first offered to let me try their app and then like I became obsessed and um, they gifted me some more free meals this month and I have a coupon code for you guys like I mentioned earlier, but I'll pop it on the screen again. But basically what it is, is it's a subscription service, I think right now just for if you live in New York City, but you pay like a monthly membership and then they have a ton of restaurants that they partner with for both lunch and dinner. And you can pick up like full sized portions of lunch and dinner for basically like a discounted rate because you're only paying a flat like monthly fee. So like today I got this huge portion of paella and it's so good. You guys know, like, this is one of my favorite places to get food from. Highly recommend the app, though, especially if you're somebody who, like, doesn't enjoy cooking, but you don't want to spend, like, $20 on a meal every single day. I think with, like, the membership, it comes out to, like, $5 a meal. Okay, yeah, so if you go to mealpal.com slash rubylochner, you get $40 off of your first month, which is seriously, like, an insane deal. So, highly recommend taking advantage of that, and if you end up doing it, let me know. But for now, I'm gonna eat, and and then I'm producing a show in like 30 minutes. I have to be on for sound check. So I want to eat before I have to deal with clients because uh, I'm never as good on an empty stomach. Okay, the virtual event just ended. It went so well. I don't know if I can say the client that I worked with. I guess like the only hint I'll give is it's a dog food company, like a pretty big dog food company. Uh, but the event went so well. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna put on some makeup because uh, I wanna film some TikToks and also for the event tonight that I will tell you about as soon as I'm ready. I'm gonna film a TikTok actually trying out this new Flower Beauty um, like whipped primer. This looked so interesting to me and I've been really trying to make sure that I've been filming like a ton of beauty content on my TikTok and like testing out products that I think are like gonna go viral so we're gonna try this out I'm also gonna light a candle because we can these are the two that I've been like alternating between we have fall day from Target which this smells incredible and mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works because like obviously I think I'm gonna light mahogany teak wood I'll link both candles down below this Target one Seriously smells so good though. Oh my god. I didn't even like that. Oh, yes, I did I need my makeup to last like a pretty long time And I think it's gonna be a little humid in the city tonight. We're also expecting some rain So, you know, just kind of got to be like up for anything So for my face like base the foundation and concealers that I'm gonna be using I figured I would just show you guys them and link them down below too One of my favorite current foundations the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation I'm definitely gonna be using this it lasts all day and it gives a beautiful soft matte finish without feeling heavy or drying I'm gonna use this under my eyes my YSL like brightening under eye concealer and then for the little blemishes on my face I'm gonna use the one size I believe this is called like the butter silk concealer I have been obsessed with this not just for my face but like under my eyes this is incredible and it does not crease however um, I do want like more of a brightening effect under my eyes tonight, which is why I'm gonna use the YSL. All right, so I guess I will check in after I do my makeup. I already did my hair with my Dyson. I have it clipped up to let the curls like set and do their thing. Obviously, I'll probably touch it up a little bit before I go 
because I'm seeing some flyaways at the top of my head, but so far, like, it's fine. Do you guys want to see something so cute? So when Dakota gets tired during the day, sometimes, yes, she'll sleep up on the couch, but other times, she tucks herself into her crate. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? She's just so cozy and happy. Quick little makeup check. Hi, I really like this makeup and my hair and my outfit. It's a good day. I've been wearing this makeup for a while now. I do feel like my foundation is breaking up a little bit on my chin, but A, I'm gonna be wearing a mask for the most part tonight, unless I'm like taking a quick picture. And also, it's just inevitable. I'm super expressive, so foundation is always the first place like that goes away on my chin. Or like, sorry, my chin is the first place where foundation breaks up. But, okay, I'm getting ready to leave. I have to head out the door in a couple of minutes. I did want to talk about what I have on my lips. I have a gloss over this, but the lip color that I'm wearing is one of the new NARS Soft Matte Lip Balms. I'm obsessed with these. Like, I hope that they come out with a million more shades. They're saying that these are limited edition, so I got three colors, but they're kind of everything. They give like just a touch of color, but they feel like super comfortable. It's so flattering. I feel like it makes your lips look really full. But okay, let's talk about what I'm doing while I put my socks and shoes on. I also have Dakota right here next to me. I'm sorry if my apartment is a little messy. I'm planning on doing a cleaning day this week. Just hasn't happened yet. It's been a very, very busy week. She's so cute, you guys. I'm sorry if I like overload you on the Dakota content, but like, I can't help it. So in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna head out the door and I'm actually going with my sister as my plus one, but I'm going to a very exciting influencer event with Chill House here in New York. Um, if you guys don't know, they're a super cool like nail salon slash spa. They also do like facials and massages, but they're really known for like their nail art, which is why I'm going with bare nails. I actually like trimmed them or clipped them and reshaped them today. I made them a little bit more pointy. I feel like I'm getting really good at shaping my nails. But anyways, I'm leaving them bare because one of the things they're offering tonight to the guests are like manicures, which I'm super excited about. I actually have been going to quite a few influencers influencer events recently, but I haven't vlogged them. I feel like I've showed them on my TikTok a lot and like my Instagram, but I haven't been vlogging, like vlogging them a ton because usually like the days that they're on, I don't really have anything else to vlog that day. But I'm super, super excited. Also today I finalized um, two very exciting, very, very big brand deals, which I do just want to say like, it's so fun to be kind of like growing on social media, especially TikTok, that's been like exploding recently, but like I wouldn't have any of these opportunities if it wasn't for you guys. Like I would not be going to this event tonight if it wasn't for you guys. So I just wanna say thank you. I really wanna focus as I continue to grow uh, more on like giving back. I've been thinking about doing a TikTok giveaway recently. I just kind of need to figure out what exactly I wanna do. Oh, by the way, I'm putting on my shoes. These are my boots from Thursdays. I love these and I feel like now that it's kind of fall, I can break these out. But yeah, I'm so excited. I was invited by Chill House earlier this week to this like influencer event for a lot of their like New York City based influencers and we are celebrating the launch of their new candles so we're gonna like take a look at the new collection hang out at the store i think they're doing like i said manicures and also like express massages which i'm really excited for i asked them if it was okay to bring a plus one just to help me like take some content because i do want to shoot content for obviously this vlog but also tiktok and i want to take a photo or two for instagram and originally i was gonna ask kevin if he wanted to come but he's actually working tonight and i figured this is more of like a girly event anyways so i asked my sister if she was free she happened to not have school tonight so i'm taking her obviously to have a good time but also to help me shoot some content. I actually really like my outfit tonight. Obviously, I wouldn't wear something that I didn't like to an event, but I really like this one. Um, you know, depending on the influencer event, like I went to one last week where it was like super dressy. This one I feel is going to be much more casual, but I still want to look like good in pictures and I want to feel confident. So anyways, I'm wearing my everyday necklaces from Etsy and like my everyday rings, Little Words Project bracelets. Bralette is from Free People. My yellow, like silk or satin, I guess, top is from Zara. This belt is actually from Amazon. One of like the biggest steals. I get so many compliments on it and it's literally from Amazon. I'm wearing some American Eagle high-waisted skinny jeans. I don't care what anybody says. I think skinny jeans will and forever always be in. And then obviously my boots from Thursday. So yeah, I feel like it's really cute. I do love skinny jeans though. I just feel like they make you look so tall and like, I don't know, kind of like a model off duty look. I really like this. I feel like I look super tall in this mirror. 
I guess I am kind of tall. I get questions about that a lot. I'm 5'7 in real life, so with these like heeled boots, I guess I'm probably like 5'9. But yeah, I'm gonna pack up everything, make sure that I have uh, my portable charger for my phone because I'm probably gonna need that and then I guess I'll see you as I'm walking to the train with my sister Which will be fun because I don't think you guys have seen her in a vlog in quite a while So yay, and I do just want to say sorry again before I turn off my camera like yes This is fun. This is exciting for me, but like thank you guys so much because Again, I would not be afforded these opportunities if it wasn't for you. Yes, I worked my butt off for many, many years. I've been filming YouTube videos for over 11 years now, which is crazy. But like, you know, I can film videos all I want and not grow. And it's because of you guys that I'm growing. So I'm very thankful for you guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you excited? I am. I don't, I don't know where we're going. I know, it's your first influencer event. Am I famous? Wait, as always, we're early, but that's okay. Ava, give us a little outfit of the day moment. Um, I don't know what I'm wearing. I think this is free people. Uh, my like five-year-old Adidas. I definitely care about the way I look. Natural hair, no makeup. But you might get a manicure, so. At least my nails will be pretty. It was such a good hair day. I think the New York City humidity kind of ruined it, but I'll like twist it and get it somewhat in a manageable state. It's not that bad, it's not great. It's the next day. I was very tired, so I didn't end off the vlog, but I figured let's just like continue it into today because I'm not even sure like how much content I have, and I like vlogging for you guys. If you guys can hear anything, that's the um, AC. Uh, we actually haven't had AC for a couple of days. Well, we've had it, but there was something wrong with our AC unit where it was making like a really loud rattling sound, so we weren't using it just because it was way too loud, especially for like filming. You could hear it like very very clearly today is just gonna be a content day kevin just left for work i actually did my makeup not my hair yet um i wanted to at least get my makeup done i just went to the bank uh to open up a like another credit card because i got approved for this uh sorry there's something on my lens anyways i got approved for this like really great travel card with like such a great bonus i wanted to take advantage of it and it's been a while since i've like added any more like hard inquiries onto my credit so it like literally didn't impact my score at all. But anyways, I just got back from the bank doing that and then I had a package to pick up at the front desk and I wanted to show you guys this. So basically it's so weird. Even though I'm 22, I feel weird kind of like talking about this on the internet but I'm just gonna like do it anyways because it's really not weird. Basically, it's really not weird. Um, I decided that I wanted to start taking CBD for a couple of different reasons. If you guys watched one of my most recent videos, you know that I've definitely been like a little bit more stressed and anxious than usual. I'm kind of attributing that like to the pandemic, but I've also still been dealing with some joint pain from my back injury and just like inflammation all over the body that's been caused by that back injury. And so when I had my yearly appointment with my GP this was like a week and a half ago she recommended that I maybe try taking like a really small dose of CBD every single day and I was like you know what that's something that I've definitely looked into before um, I've used like CBD lotions and balms before for like joint pain and cramps during like that time of the month so I thought you know what it can't hurt to try so I did a ton of research just because I really wasn't sure like what the best brand was I wanted to make sure that I was getting like really high quality ingredients so I ended up placing an order on Equilibrium 
Nutria. This is not sponsored, but I've heard a lot of people talking about this. It's CBD specifically like formulated for women, I believe that's what they say. Anyways, if you guys are interested in CBD, I thought I would just show you what I picked out because they did have a really good promo going on. So anyways, as far as what I got, let me just say that this stuff is not the most affordable, but the ingredients are really high quality. And they were having a promo where if you spent $100, you got a full size product, which I'll show you guys in a second. So anyways, the first thing that I got, this is their CBD balm, which is basically for like muscle relief, joint recovery, cramps, headaches. Um, and I love the packaging. It's like super heavy. And then this is kind of the main event, what I really placed the order for. These are their daily drops, which are just their CBD drops. This is a mint flavor. And then if you spent $100, you actually got a full size of the daily drops um, in their summer sorbet, like not scent, what is this called, flavor? So you literally got like a $50 product for free if you spent 100, which I thought was great. And then I needed to spend like $15 more, I think. So I got this little travel set, which I thought would actually be really good for obviously traveling. It comes with a mini size of the summer sorbet CBD drops, a mini size of the CBD like lotion, and then a little roller ball that you can use for a ton of different stuff. I feel like I'm having a hard time talking. I'm so tired today, you guys. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I came home from the event just kind of on such a like personal high, like I was just so happy. I had the best time. Oh my God, speaking of the event, look at my nails. Uh, we got free manicures at the event, which was so fun. And they were doing like express manicures with like nail art on the ring finger. So I got this little swirly design. I thought it was so cute for like beginning of fall. I also had quite possibly the best deep tissue massage I have ever had in my life it was so good again i just want to say thank you so much to chill house for having me but also thank you guys for the continued support and love because i would not be given any of these opportunities if it wasn't for you guys i love my youtube fam and my tiktok fam so much you guys have no idea but i'm gonna do my hair now i'm gonna film some tiktoks um but yeah i just wanted to talk about my package and also last night um i will link the website for equilibria down below all right that's enough chatting i feel like a lot of this vlog has been me chatting, but I'm just in a chatty mood. I'm so thankful for you guys. Okay, I have my face mask on, I have my hair up in a bun, and I actually wanted to show you guys or tell you a little bit more in depth about what I just used on my hair. So this is a little um, like mini size. I've been testing out this product now for two weeks. I saw this on TikTok from a like hair girl that I follow. And this is from Fable in Maine. This is their Holly Roots hair oil that promotes like stronger, healthier hair and a healthier scalp and roots. The girl on TikTok basically said that she uses this overnight, one night a week, um, like the night before she's gonna wash her hair and it helps promote hair growth, making sure that your hair doesn't thin out, making sure that your hair is as soft, strong, and as healthy as possible. And so I really wanted to try it out. So far, I obviously haven't seen any hair growth from this. However, I've definitely noticed that my hair has been so much softer recently, and this is the only new thing that I've added into my routine. It also smells so good. Like, I wish Fable and Maine would make a perfume of this scent. But yeah, anyways, just wanted to mention that. So I'm going to let that sit in my hair overnight it's just in a bun um i use a pretty generous amount of it i use like two droppers for the scalp and i massage it in for about five minutes and then i use a full dropper for like the middle to the ends of my hair and it soaks in really fast so i don't find that i get like oil all over my pillowcase or anything like that but yeah i'm gonna let this face mask sit for like 20 minutes or so then rinse it off and i think i'm gonna sign off because then it's getting late I'm tired. I also need to drink some water. I feel like I've not been good at that today. Okay, you guys, it's the next morning and I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I did not end it last night. I promise I'm gonna get back on track with like ending these vlogs better. Also, I have a lozenge in my mouth and a band-aid on my forehead because I just got back from the dermatologist. I had to just get a little like remnants of a breakout taken care of. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all of my other social media networks. The links are always in the down bar below. I hope that you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy. And I will talk to you guys again very, very soon in my next video.